So don't fear the Reaper is a curious little board. You have three reactors that you're allowed to use. And you have four inputs coming into your hydrogen laser. This is not like the other laser reactor where you have to build a crystal for it. In this case, um, as long as you're feeding it nitrogen trifluoride, um, that's fuel for it. And if you feed it uh, H2, it fires. You control the um, direction that it's shooting with straight methane coming in from your one and only source here. So to build nitrogen trifluoride, nitrogen, okay, so you start with the carbon. Carbon is six, hydrogen is obviously one, nitrogen is seven, and fluorine is nine. Hints for the board. Hint one, NH3, FH, FH, FH. You can use flip-flops to count to three. Third hint, you're probably going to want a storage tank for the hydrogen. All right, let's get going. Now we're going to start off with the fusion reactor. Now, space on this board is at a premium. Keep that in mind. Okay. So, we know one of the things we're going to need to build is this nitrogen trifluorate. Now, if we control the output order, we can make our lives a lot easier. Nitrogen is 7, fluorine is 9. So, we need to build that out. Which means we need to start with doing some kind of fusion for this mess. Now, we're occasionally going to want to turn our component. So, I'm going to start with red. We're going to do an in. I'm going to do a grab. I've got it by the hydrogen here, so I'm going to do an out. I'm going to ship it out on uh, Psy. And that's just going to throw the um, methane out of our top input, and I will feed that into a splitter reactor downstream so that I can drive this thing. Next batter. Whoops. Is I'm going to build out a NH3. So I come in, grab it by the carbon. Oops, let's try that again. Grab it by the carbon. Make it my life a little easier. We'll fuse it there. And actually, we will bring that down by one. Where do I want to drop it? We will drop it here. So I should have... this one ammonia and we'll ship that and I'm going to have a bunch of six this will make sense in a minute now blue is going to be shipping me out um, F3 or FH so I want blue shipping out this Hydrogen fluoride. Now, I don't know if that's exactly how I'm going to end up with it laying out, but we'll get there. I don't need these, actually. So, blue, when it gets told it's allowed to go, we'll do an N on alpha. Grab it. Come down here. And do a fuse. Simple enough. Now, the trick to counting to three. Now, the problem is, is I have to be careful because I can't get into the wall over here. So, the first time through, I'm good to go. So, I flip-flop out. Once I've done that, so this turns into an on state. So I fused once. I come in. This one's on. I'm escaping. I'm going to go back into it, which will turn it off and send me through a second time. I'm 
Okay, so that turned it off when I went through. I'm going to turn it back on when I come in. Two. I've gone once. Twice. I try to escape. I can't. Three times. And now I'm out of here. So that gives me three. Now I grab drop here. And I come back around and I hit my sink again. Now I'm going to need to dual sink this because I want to do three of these atoms. So this lets me loose the first time. That lets me loose a second time. That matches. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so that puts me through on the second. That puts me through on the third. And this holds until blue gets here. Now, if I've done this right... I'm just extending the pipe so I can see that this worked correctly. So I bring in my methane, eventually. There we go. I dump it off for my directional controls. Now I come through. Hmm. Try it that way. There we go. That works better. And I'm doing it that way. Okay, so here's how to build your um, hydrogen fluorine. So that comes through, it bonds in once. I didn't do a rotation. We'll get back to that in a second. Goes through a second. Goes through a third. And then it's allowed out. But I need to get a rotation in there. So that goes through. Brings in another one. Brings in a third one. Now I've got um, FH. It escapes. And I'm out of here. Now I do want to rotate that on its way through so that it matches that and make my life a little easier later. Now let me make sure I got my sink straight. Okay, one NH, one FH. I forgot to put an out. Okay, that's one FH. Two FHs, three FHs, and now blue hangs out. Perfect. Okay, so we also know that we're just shipping out methane over here. Okay, so we know we're shipping one NH3 for every three FHs that chase it down the same pipe. We'll get back to that in a second. Now I want to build my uh, control reactor, which really doesn't matter what reactor I use, so we're just going to use a fusion reactor here. Um, I'm going to need a little room. Okay, that's not going to work. There we go. Simple enough. Okay, so we've got methane here. Now, one of the things that can happen is, is you can end up in a backup in the pipe. So what you want to do is you also want to have an option to be able to send stuff out simultaneously so you don't turn anything. So let's start with red. I don't actually need the sensor. I don't need any of this, actually. This is just a driving reactor. So in our normal circumstances, red will come through Do an in, do a grab. Do a drop and an out. Now, I only want it to do that. I'm gonna need some driving controls here. We will use F1 for our left hand turn. F2 for a right-hand turn. And 
and control C. Yeah, that will work. Uh, I want the second one so that I'm bouncing right in here. Control C will drop off. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Okay, C will fire off a sink, which will tell Blue to bring in an alpha, grab it, come over here, drop it, and come back around to my come back around to my sink, and red. I'll be heading over here. Now, how do I time this? And then both of them do an out simultaneously. So what I've basically done is, is I'm having blue do a left turn while red drops off a right turn. And we'll be sending out methane simultaneously. The only one problem is, is I gotta make sure these pipes are even to make that work right. Alright, we'll just have to live with whatever the hell it ends up with. And our final result... We'll be taking this ammonia and hydrogen fluoride and building something useful with it. I'm going to start with a storage tank up here, because I happen to know what's going to happen. And I'm going to make these pipe, that pipe straight to make my life easier here shortly. That's got to go in there. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I can fit this reactor in intelligently. Okay, so I'm going to need to have... A hydrogen pipe coming out to here, and then the pipe going in there. So that's not going to work for me. Okay, so I had this whole plan as to how I was building this reactor. I'm dumping it. I want to sense a reactor up here. Next up, if we look down here, I've got hydrogen fluoride and NH3 up here in this position. That's fine for us. We're going to be dumping hydrogen that way. And I need to figure out how to get my pipe straight. Um, because this needs to go here. Means I can't make that go out there. Okay, so we will reset the pipes on this and move this up by one. Bring the top one over, bring this out. Move the storage tank up by one, hook that in there, and hook that there. There we go. So now I've got ammonia and hydro um, hydrogen fluoride. We're going we're gonna to use the sensor reactor to determine when we have hydrogen. So let's put blue out of the way for the second. Red's coming in. There's an in. There's a grab. Oops, nope. There we go. In and grab. As it comes by, it's going to do an unbond. Simple enough. Now as it comes this way, um, we're gonna put that up. We're gonna put these two up here for the moment. I'll get back to them. Does an unbond. Which tells Blue that we have at least one hydrogen. So we tell Blue to get going. Blue snags it. Gets out of the way for a second. Now Red has to figure out what it's doing with that. And I'm actually going to put this over here. And the reason for that is so that I can uh, put some escape hatches in if I need to later, in case I haven't gotten rid of all of the hydrogen that I'm going to build up. So we've unbonded it. We're going to rotate it once. Whoops. Rotate it once, bringing everything up. If I have a hydrogen here, <coughs> we're going to come around and do it again, which tells blue Come through, 
hook up our new hydrogen to our old one. Come along here. Drop it. Now I'll have a hydrogen up here. And it's going to try and ship it out. Until that ships out, I want red to get itself into an endless loop here. And the reason for that is if I have the hydrogen sitting here and it hasn't shipped, I want this to just go in a big loop over here until it gets done. That gives me one, two, three, four from this. Okay, so this sink happens here. One, two, three because of the rotate. So that hydrogen triggers on three, four, five, six, four, five, six, and either I'll have hit the out or I won't. Now, if red has finished with what it's doing, we will come up here, attempt to bond, So that if I have dropped off my nitrogen, the fluoride attaches. Otherwise, I will drop off nitrogen. Well, let me think about this for a second. So I bonded here. So if I have a fluoride, I'm still hanging on by the fluoride. Make that drop only. We'll do a grab. Then come out. And along the way, we will rotate it once. I suppose it doesn't really matter which way I rotate, but that's just what, what I'm going to do. Um, actually, it will matter. So I have my fluorine fluoride here, and I grab it by the nitrogen here. I want to rotate it up, not down. So I want to rotate it the other way. Oh. No, I've got the rotation right. That rotates correctly. So this will start building out my NF3. Now my problem is, is I need to know when to sell it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a... Um, flip flop counter to know when we should be selling. So the first flip flop goes here to send us through. The second flip flop, um, I think that sends us left. Give me a second. Let me confirm this in my head. So the first time we come through, we've dropped off a nitrogen. We hit that flip flop. That turns this this flip flop on, which should be aimed up. The second time through, we hit this flip flop and go this way. This one's turned off. The third time through, we turn this flip flop on again, and the fourth time through, we ship. So one nitrogen, three fluoride. This should work. Put this start here just to make things a little neater. Now if I've done everything right, which is a pretty lofty goal, but we'll see how I did. So that gets one of our, um, oops, I've screwed up already. This thing's a grab drop here. Alright, so that trips our methane up here. Red grabs it and starts bouncing, waiting for a command. Down here, we've got our first uh, NH3 going out, which would feed this reactor. And I've got the wrong in.
Okay, so we've grabbed nitrogen, we've unhooked one of the hydrogens. Come through, we unbound another one. We grab that. Oops. Okay, that's not gonna fly. So we will have to bring these guys down to here. Yeah, that should work out. Um, kind of. Now that I look at it, I need this to do something slightly different. That's not going to work. There. That'll work. There's my, uh, please don't blow anything up loop. Alright. Round three. Okay, so we've got nitrogen coming in. Disconnect the first hydrogen. Blue comes in, grabs it, pulls it out of the way. Now it runs through here, ships it out, grabs the next one. Nitrogen doesn't have a hydrogen on it, so it comes up here, tries to bond, and off it goes. It's first time through, flips that on. Now we've got a FH atom, which is now empty. So that bonds up, we drop it, we grab it, we twist it, throw it down again. Now we're going to come up here and go that way. Perfect. Another one comes through. Blue grabs that, takes it out of the way. Okay, so now all of our flip-flops are turned on. We're waiting on our last floor, uh, fluorine atom. It's on its way. So there goes our last fluorine. Goes through both flip-flops, ships that out, and we started shooting the laser. There we go. Okay, let's speed things along. Alright, so we need to aim the laser right by one. Whoop, nope. I got my controls flipped. How did I manage to do that? So I wanted F1 to aim me left. It's aiming me to the right. How did I swap? controls. This upper pipe leads to the left hand control. Oh, it's pushing. Okay. Um, it's just going to drive me nuts. There. <coughs> Let's try that again. Speed things along here a little bit. Now, remember what I said about this pipe's going to start feeding in. So I'm going to turn on my double control. Send two out. This drop needs to be one more over. And that upper pipe is my short pipe. So yeah, whenever you get there, you get there. All right, one more time. Okay, I screwed that up because I didn't take it off high speed before I started turning the laser and I blew out all of my direction controls. All right. So we'll aim this to the right one. And we'll wait for that to hit. Okay, now I'm gonna do an F3. 
clear the pipes one more time. There we go. Oops, missed that one. I don't know if I'm hitting that ship or not. We'll give it a moment. I was. And I believe that's the end of the board, because nothing else is moving. Yep, that's pretty much it. We have completed Don't Fear the Reaper, and we are promoted to Partner Reaction Engineer. That will bring us to Flideus, where we start dealing with elements no one's ever heard of. So that'll be for our next episode. I want to thank you all for watching. As always, if you'd leave a like or a comment, they're always appreciated. And I'll see you next time.